So you have some code or software that you think that someone else might want to refer to in a publication. Making your code citable enables people to give you the credit that you deserve for your work. And of course, you can cite it yourself too. It also makes research more transparent because it allows people to recreate the work that has been done. So today, we're going to upload our code to a GitHub repository. Now, Git repositories can evolve through time. So we're then going to use the Nodo to publish a snapshot of our repository and make it citable, including assigning it a DOI. So first, let's go to GitHub. If you don't have an account, just create one. And let's create a new repository. We can give the repository some name. Let's add a readme. And also, let's choose a license. And create the repository like this. Now, if you're not already familiar on how to work with Git and GitHub, I'm going to show you the easiest way to upload your code to this repository now. You can just go to Add File and Upload Files. But I'm not going to use this repository today because I've actually got a real repository that I want to publish. So the code I want to publish today is this Jupyter book of how to work with NetCDF files in Python. The book is a tutorial series, and most of the tutorials have a YouTube video associated with them as well. So to publish this repository, we're first going to log into Zenodo. If you don't have an account already, go and sign up for one. Then we're going to go to Linked Accounts, and you need to make sure that your account is linked to your GitHub account. I also recommend that you link your account to your org ID if you have one here. We're then going to go down to this GitHub page. And there's some basic instructions on how to do it here, but I'll walk you through it. So I'm going to scroll down and find the repository that I'm interested in publishing. So here it is. I'm going to flick the switch to on. And then I'm going to go back to my GitHub repository. And what I'm going to do now is create a release of my repository. You can choose which branch that you want to publish and assign a title and some description. We also need to assign a tag. There's some recommendations here. So if I just do v1.0.0, and when we've done that, we're ready to publish our release. So if we go back to the repository now, we can see this release on the right-hand side. Now let's go back to Zenodo and scroll up. We're going to synchronize this, and after some time, you get this message. And after refreshing, your repository should turn up here under Enabled Repositories. And we can see it's been assigned a DOI. So if we click on this now, and perhaps click on here, here we can find the landing page for the publication. We might want to edit to add some extra metadata. For example, my resource type isn't really software. I'm going to change this to Lesson. We can add any other creators if there are other authors for this software. Description's been pulled in from the release. And you can go ahead and update anything else that you think might be useful. When you finish making changes, you can hit publish again. And there you go. And if you scroll down, there's information on how you can cite this publication. You can choose the style that you want. And you can even export the citation to, for example, uh, big text or something else. If we click on here, we can receive this markdown for the citation. So if we copy this and then return back to our Git repository, we can go to edit the readme, press this pen icon here, and we can include this. We just hit preview. We can see how that's going to look. We might want to make some further changes. And when you're finished, you can commit those changes. And there you go. If you found this useful, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.